Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video lesson called Half As Much Again. So the point of this video is to give you a little preview of Unit 4.4. All right, so here is our scenario. Uh, this first problem involves a cute little golden retriever named Jack. Um, it says, on Monday, Jack ate two cups of dog food. On Tuesday, Jack ate the same amount plus half as much again, all right? So how much food did Jack eat on Tuesday? That's the first question. And then the second question is how much uh, did Jack eat over the two days? All right, so let's first, let's try to draw a scenario here, right? So we know that on Monday, all right, Jack ate two cups of dog food. So I'm gonna draw a, a couple squares and these are cups, all right? So that's, that's Monday. Now on Tuesday, we know that he ate the same amount plus half as much again, right? So he ate the same amount, but then half as much again. Well, half as much, well, half of Monday would be one more, right? So I'm going to add one more right here. So the question is, how much food did, did Jack eat on Tuesday? So on Tuesday, he ate a total of three cups. And then how much did Jack eat over the, the two days? Well, Monday he had two, and Tuesday he had three, and two plus three gives us five. All right, let's do another one. It says, this week Rosie delivered 40 flower arrangements. Next week, she is scheduled to deliver the same amount, but less one quarter of the arrangements. Uh, Rosie delivered this week. How many arrangements will Rosie deliver next week? And then how many arrangements will Rosie deliver over the two weeks? All right, so first of all, we have this week, and then we have next week. All right, so we know that this week uh, she delivered 40 arrangements. So I'm gonna say this is going to be 40, all right? But next week she delivered uh, the same amount but less one quarter. So the way I'm gonna represent that is it's the same amount, so it's gonna be 40, but then less one quarter. Now I know one quarter of 40, if I divide 40 by four, is 10, like this, all right? So now we can answer these questions. It says, how many arrangements, okay, will Rosie deliver next week? Well, next week it's going to be 40, minus 10, which is 30. So again, she delivered one quarter less, right? That's why I subtracted the 10, not added 10. So how many arrangements will Rosie deliver next week? It'll be 30. And then finally, how many arrangements will Rosie deliver over the two weeks? Well, 40 plus 30 will give us 70. All right, so equations can be used to solve these problems. So let's go back to the uh, the problem involving Jack, okay? Uh, and let me show you how to write an equation to solve this. So this is gonna help you get ready for, again, unit 4.4. So it's the same scenario. So again, on Monday, Jack ate two, okay? On Tuesday, he ate the same amount, right? But then plus half again. But this time, notice it says, let Y equal the number of cups because consumed, okay, on Tuesday. So this is what I know, okay? So y is gonna equal. Now we know that on Monday, all right, Jack had two cups. And we know on Tuesday, right, Jack had the same amount, okay, but half again. So the way you show a half again is you multiply it by the same number by one half. So now notice what happens here, ready? So when I simplify now what's in the, in the parentheses, okay, one half times two is one, and then two plus one gives us three. So y equals three. So again, the way I did that was two was the original amount for Monday, and then to find half of that again, I multiplied. I'm gonna write a big multiplication sign over here. I multiplied 
uh, the same amount by half. Okay, and that's how I got the one. And then two plus one gives us the three. All right, let's do the same thing, but this time with the, the, the example about Rosie. All right, this time, again, it's the same problem. So Rosie delivered 40 flowers one week. And then the next week, she wanted, she delivered one quarter less than that, okay? Um, so the question is, how many arrangements will uh, Rosie deliver next week? And for this scenario, we're going to let y equal the total number of arrangements for next week. So it's going to be y equals, all right, well, we know that this week, it was 40. All right, but next week, she's going to do less than that, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do subtract, and it's less one quarter of this. So to get one quarter of this, I'm going to do one fourth, right, times 40 over one. So again, because it's one quarter less, and the keyword is less, I'm going to circle it right here. That's why it's subtraction. So now when I simplify this, y is going to equal 40 minus and then 1 fourth times 40 is 10, because that's going to be a 1 and that's going to be a 10. And then 40 take away uh, 10 gives us 30. And there's our answer. All right. So again, notice this equation. Okay, the first part of the equation has the first value, which is 40. Right, there's the 40. And then the second part shows how much it is when it's 1 quarter less than the original amount. All right, let's do one more. This one's a little bit trickier, but again, it's the same concept. So it says, this week, Jamie hopes to sell as many cars as possible. Next week, she hopes to do even better and sell three quarters more than this week. Write an equation to represent uh, this situation. All right, let Y equal the number of cars sold okay, next week. All right, so here's the thing. For this problem, we don't know how many cars Jamie's going to sell this week. All right, so we're going to call um, the amount of cars sold this week X. All right, so again, we don't know. X could be 10, it could be 20, it could be 5. We, we, we just don't know. But what we do know is we're going to let Y equal the number of cars sold next week. Now, what we know about next week is, okay, this week it's X. But then Jamie wants to sell three quarters more than this week. So to, to get three quarters more is going to be plus three quarters times X. And again, X represents the amount this week, right? So again, X is this week. So the last step now is we're going to simplify this. So Y is going to equal X plus three fourths X. And really, this is 1x. So now when I add this together, we get y equals, well, 1 and 3 quarters is 1 and 3 quarters x. And if I wanted to, I could write that as an improper fraction, which is y equals 7 quarters x. All right? So the big thing I want you to get from this lesson, right, is this equation right here. Right? The first value, okay, is what happened um, this week and then the second value is what would happen next week based on this value this week all right and that's why it's labeled x all right good luck